In this quick video, I want to talk to you about cleaning the paints outside in the heat and what problems you can run into and what you can do to mitigate and overcome those problems so you can continue to work. If you're doing this as a personal hobby, you just want to go outside and, and you know do it in your driveway, you have a lot more flexibility. You can move it inside, start very early, start when the sun goes down. Now, if you're doing this as a business, that flexibility is a bit more constricted and you're a bit more uh, time constraint and environmentally constraints on where you're working. So just want to give you some tips and tricks on what to do when you're cleaning in heat. So the paint isn't ridiculously hot. I mean, like I can keep my hand on there. Now, trust me, there's pl I have a gauge. I just don't want to go get it. Um, there's plenty of times where the, the vehicle heats up so much that you literally can't rest your hand on it. Uh, so when it comes to cleaning, it's still moderately warm right like it's it's definitely not cool to the touch it's definitely warm so when you are going to clay whatever clay media you're using this is from the last coat whatever clay media you're using when it's a warm surface it has to stay very very lubricated both the mitt or whatever you use it, whatever media and the surface as well because as you start to um to clay the surface right you're spreading the product you're spreading the clay loop thin, correct? And since it's getting thinner and it's hot outside and the panel, it's, the panel itself is hot, as you agitate, your mitt is gonna start catching because it's not lubricated. And when that happens, then sometimes, I don't know if you can see it right here. Let me check the camera. I highly doubt you can, but it's right here. Let me see, let me do it again. For demonstration purposes, I'm not destroying anything, guys. Calm down, please. If you're agitating, and you're agitating and you're not paying attention or not lubricating the surface well enough and you keep it on the surface for too long or you kind of just um or just the surface itself is too hot it will start to leave the imprint of the clay and sometimes when it gets too extreme like pieces of the clay well here i'm saying the clay pad because that's what i'm using pieces of the clay pieces of the clay or not pieces but you know like the residue of the clay will stay there and then you actually have to work to get it out and it can be a little bit of a headache and this is even um you should really think about this more if you're actually not going to polish the paint because think about it if you're not going to polish the paint afterwards and maybe you did add a little bit of haze and maybe there is some imprints that you can clearly see like it'll literally be this pattern of the pad left on the paint and you're not going to polish afterwards well then it's going to be quite easy to tell to you but maybe not so much to the customer but you know why why put that chance where they're gonna see those weird blemishes in the paint and then they're gonna ask hey what's going on here why is this why is that so you that it, the point being is that you want to have the surface lubricated when it's hot and maybe you don't want to go with just a clay lube maybe you actually want to like dunk it into a wa into a wash bucket with clean soap and water to make sure it's always going to stay lubricated maybe um you know it might dry as it go along but as, lo as long as you're working the section and it doesn't dry off right there then you're good so it just really comes down to just playing with you know the the weather the panel and how much time you have and what service you're going to go because if you are going to polish it it's a lot more forgiving because you know the 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 slight haze the little bit of friction that you add when you're cleaning and you're going to polish afterwards it's insignificant it's going to come out like that no no problem whatsoever um but it's like when you don't polish you're going to really you're going to really leave it in the paint so if you're not going to polish you definitely want to put more emphasis on the lubrication and make sure it's gliding over the paint seamlessly versus every now and then it's catching and leaving all those impressions in the paint so all in all when you're here all you have to do is make sure that the surface is always lubricated it might seem like overkill but you just want to keep on spraying and this is in my opinion where a pump sprayer comes best so you don't have to keep on pulling your trigger every single time and you can just squeeze the the trigger and just let it spray out with a pump sprayer my opinion of course but i think pump sprayers are the best for cling even though i'm using a spray bottle right now obviously you can also just move the vehicle inside if you're mobile just to clay it or move it under some shade if you're in a shop you don't really have to worry about this because you're in a shop setting so that makes life so much easier uh but of course that's just some of the few things you can do to kind of mitigate the heat so you can continue to work i mean being mobile it is, it is what it is like you have to face the elements outside 
and heat is going to be a big part of that and you just have to find a way to work around it to get the job done. But that's gonna wrap up this video. Hopefully it helped you out to some capacity. If you have any other tips or tricks that you use in the heat, leave those in the comment section down below. Make sure you follow me on the IG at Detail Groove and I'll see you on the next one. <laughs>